So if you're an NFL fan on Twitter, you've probably seen PFF. In today's video, we're gonna be going over last week's game and how the PFF numbers stacked up for the Rams. Let's get into it. So yes, I know we're playing against the Raiders tonight. However, I'm going to be in Vegas this weekend when uh, you know, you're watching these videos. So I made a couple of videos ahead. This is still gonna be very valuable information and you're gonna get a lot uh, from this video. But just know, starting on Monday, I will be talking about this Raiders game from there on out for the next week until our last preseason game. Uh, but anyways, today we're going to be going over the PFF grades because uh, these are something that I like to uh, look at a lot. For one, they see Aaron Donald as the GOAT, the greatest of all time, like bar none. He's been the number one uh, defensive player for like seven years uh, because they actually take into account stats that um, are more than just um, stats on paper, like, uh, you know, pressures. They take everything into account that stats really can't show and then they put it all into one singular grade that PFF has come up with. Um, so I like to look at it. The Los Angeles Rams were off to a tough start in the, uh, the preseason losing their first game against the Chargers on Saturday night. It was a 34-17 loss at Sto SoFi Stadium uh, with both teams primarily playing their backups. Um, they already shared their studs with du studs and duds. Actually I put that video out a couple days ago um, and the uh, PFF has since released their player grade. There are a few surprises among the lowest graded guys, including Stetson Bennett, um, but a handful of projected starters played relatively well. Um, so let's talk about um, the Rams' performance. The top five offensive players were the uh, Tyler Johnson, who had 70 yards, um, five catches, which was extremely good. Um, Ronnie Rivers, um, who played very spectacularly. We've talked about him a lot. Tremaine Akram, who was actually a bit of a surprise. He did play well, but I didn't know he was going to be like a top five PFF graded player for the Rams this week. Um, Puka Nakua at 70.3. And then Austin Trammell with a 60 point, 67 PFF grade. Um, it's hardly surprising that Johnson was the highest uh, Rams' highest graded player, as you know he absolutely popped off the TV. Um, he played well in the second half, leading the uh, team with 70 yards. Nakua and Trammell also had a positive impact at wide receiver, um, with Nakua scoring the first touchdown for the Rams. Rivers stood out in the backfield with a strong performance, and his he did very well with his carries. And his best play of the night may have come on the touchdown. Uh, run in the red zone but that was called back by penalty so it's not going to show um, you know on the stats however it does show um, within his PFF grade uh, that he played well throughout the game Ingram was the Rams top rated offensive lineman and is he had an 85 pass block which is something we really need to see going into the season with a clean sheet with no pressures allowed the top five defense, Tanner Ingle, who is on the kind of bubble with the safeties. He had an 80. Uh, DeAndre Square with the 77. Trey Tomlinson, who I made a video on, um, I believe, yesterday. Uh, he had a 75 grade, which is extremely good. Extremely good. Laurel Murchison, uh, he was kind of one of the lone bright spots on the uh, defensive line. And Ernest Brown, the fourth. Ingle wasn't on the field for a very long time, uh, but his impact was felt, and that could earn him more playing time in the preseason against the Vegas. Uh, definitely, we need to see what Tanner Ingle is made of because um, with John Johnson being added, uh, there's just not enough room for all these safeties that we do have that are kind of younger guys. But Ingle has been playing very well in offseason and um, in the preseason, first preseason game as well. Trey Tomlinson made an immediate impact uh, early with a pa pass deflection on a tight coverage on a separate deep shot and a tight coverage on a separate each shot to Quentin Johnson, uh, showing he could be an option for the Rams at cornerback this season. I like him. I think he should definitely be, uh, you know, getting some playing time in the preseason. If he continues to play well, let's start him, man. Um, he's young and he's playing extremely well. Uh, Square made three tackles and 14 snaps play, while Murchison and Brown were two bright spots on an under otherwise forgettable night by the defensive front. In terms of the bottom five offense, Logan Bruss, we've already talked about this. He did not have a good day. Brett Ripien, he did not have a good time either at quarterback. Stetson Bennett definitely played better than him. However, Stetson Bennett also a 39 grade. That's pretty surprising to me. Uh, but it's probably because of his really bad first drive where he was like basically throwing picks right into uh, coverage. Um, but they just weren't actually picked off. Warren McClendon Jr. Um, and then Cameron McDonald. Um, so... Bruss didn't look good in this one, allowing four pressures, one sack and three hurries. 
We've already talked about him a lot on the channel. Ripien and Bennett both received low uh, uh, PFF grades for the performance, but Bennett just made a lot of mistakes early, um, and then he settled in and actually played well down the stretch with uh, two touchdown drives being led by him, one coming from him and one coming from his running back. And then McClendon seemed to play pretty well, but uh, PFF disagreed. Finally, the bottom five defense was going to be Daniel Hardy. He did have a half of a sack. Um, however, the rest of his play was pretty poor. Richard LeCount actually got draw, uh, cut by the Rams uh, with the 35. Byron Young sadly didn't have a too good of an outing. We'll see what he does in the preseason. Um, and then these two players. Uh, it was a pretty disappointing night for the Rams, uh, Rams edge rushers other than um, Keir Thomas. Uh, neither Hardy or Young were effective on the edge other than Hardy's half sack. Um, but Young had a sack. He did have a sack called back because of a face pass penalty. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we had going on um, for the PFF grades. What did you guys think about um, the Rams preseason opener? Let me know in the comment section below. What are you guys thinking about tonight's game um, against the Raiders? Uh, I'll make uh, content on that very soon. Uh, but anyways, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.